On June 1st, Sisters returns. Are you kidding me? And hold on tight. Are you threatening me? Because you won't believe what's coming. He will be an amazing father. Oh, hell no. It's getting good. We're going for a minimum of 15 years. Tyler Perry's Sisters returns June 1st. What's good, y'all? She gets this Erica Bain coming to you right here on Erica Bain TV with another Sisters video. In this video, I wanted to take a second and put together all of the scenes that I feel like are newer scenes because we got a teaser and we got a trailer for 4B or part two of season four. Season four will be returning for sisters on June 1st. However, both of the trailer and the teaser are filled with tons of scenes that we've already seen before. So in this video, I wanna put together all the scenes that we haven't seen before and then talk a little bit about it. But if you missed it, I did do season four teaser breakdown. I did a uh, Gary is spying on Andy and Robin video. So I do have those as well for you to check out and where I do talk about the new information that we're getting prior to the start of season four, the second half of season four. So those are available to you to go check out after this video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my sister's content. And without further ado, let's take a look at some of these scenes. Okay, so one of the newer scenes is the girls walking in on Aaron and Karen getting a little close, a little close and personal at Karen's apartment. This is probably around episode 16. If y'all missed it, I do have all of the sister season four synopsis on ericavane.com right now. So you can go and read the synopsis for each of the episodes for the rest of the season. And in episode 16, the synopsis reads, Sabrina realizes that Bio has a significant secret while Karen and Aaron draw closer. So I think that this could be the scene that we're seeing them draw closer episode 13 we're going to see them in the doctor's office because of course Aaron takes Karen to the doctors we get a quick moment of Sabrina and Andy cheersing it looks like at Andy's penthouse and this is probably them talking about bio and what Sabrina has learned and Danny probably showed up as well and they're like oh where's Karen like oh I haven't heard from her they might not have heard from her since episode 13 when she was supposed to go to the to the doctors you know episode 13 it says Andy helps Fatima out of a bind as Karen receives some troublesome news. So this could be the news that she gets at the doctors. If y'all missed it, I did do a troublesome news video a while back where I talked about what the troublesome news could be. So go ahead and check that out after this as well. I'll link all of these videos in the description box down below for you to check out and so that you can easily navigate and find them because I have thousands of videos on the channel now, but that video is there for you as well. But I think that the girls show up, they show up at Karen's house after you know meeting up at Andy's penthouse and then realize like Karen's not here and like let's check on her and like let's loop her in and they're probably trying to you know make it a shift because there has been a little bit of strain with the sister circle in most recent episodes as well as season three and part of that was you know everything leading up to Karen and this whole pregnancy and them not actually knowing about it or getting any kind of inklings or anything and their response to it so all of that like and then Fatima the whole thing so I could totally see them like oh let's go over there since we haven't heard from her and like check on our girl and when they do they see Karen and Aaron getting a little close and personal and I'm actually here for it I'm here for Aaron and Karen to move forward in their relationship however it looks if they move forward developing a closer friendship if they actually go into a relationship I think that Aaron is a good person for Karen in her life I think that he's so very patient he's kind and he has helped her really start to learn evolve and grow so I personally want him to stick around whether they're in a romantic relationship or not. Now, the other scene from this little 30 second trailer is the scene of Gary actually spying on Andy and Robin. So we know from a few episodes in the first part of season <laughs> four <laughs> that Andy plans to let Robin stay at the penthouse and she tells Gary this for whatever, like Andy girl, what the hell were you thinking? Gary wants you back. She tells Gary, I need space. I need to see how you gonna behave. I need to see how you gonna move. And then she tells him, oh, and I'm gonna have Robin stay here this week while you know he's in town. And then of course, Gary being the crazy nutcase that he is utterly unhinged. He is in his office with a huge ass telescope looking into the penthouse watching Andy about to have sex with Robin. And it's just like, girl, Andy, this will not end well for you. You're trying to out manipulate or make jealous a master manipulator and unhinged man. Like, girl, you are literally playing with fire. And at this point, what happens to you? Yes, it will be Gary's fault, but part of it will be your fault too because ain't nobody tell your ass to play with fire. Gary has told you on numerous occasions that he don't give a damn about you. He don't love you. He can't 
cannot protect and nurture and care for you in the way that you want and whether he said those words directly or his actions have shown you sis you have gotten the message clear live and direct and at this point you are choosing to ignore it if you want to continue to engage with this man give him this goofy ass penthouse back if you gonna move forward with robin move forward with robin but i think that you need to spend some time by yourself and figure out what your value your self-love and all that looks like by your damn self and then move on girl like you're too beautiful for this i can't and then in the teaser we got these scenes they have a scene where it looks like zach is at the law firm and he is tackling hayden so clearly we're going to have a fight with hayden and zach at some point in the second half of this season also y'all look out because i think that after we finish the rest of the season or right before the season comes to a close we are going to get zatima so we are definitely going to get zatima this summer they have already filmed season five of sisters and I wouldn't be surprised if they were going back and filming season two of Zatima sometime this summer because we are just really going to be coming with tons of content when it comes to the sisters universe and Tyler Perry but back to this, this teaser okay so Zach is tackling Hayden okay so Fatima must have told him about going over there and being Batwoman breaking up all his sh and then you know he's over there with gary i could only imagine like how fatima debriefed him and zach's like well if she didn't go on batwoman and i'm gonna go crazy and he up at the law firm but i'm just like zach you already just got out of jail for this baby well this child that you haven't been paying child support for because there's a mystery there you already have a history and a few strikes you do not need to be going up somebody's law firm and manhandling hayden like this like you needed to move a little bit smarter and catch hayden outside like fatima did because you have nothing but witnesses andy is running behind you like uh zach no zach stop zach 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 boy like there's literally nothing but witnesses you're literally giving hayden all the ammunition that he needs to come after you in the legal way because you're doing dumb stuff like out in the open and yes hayden does need to take a tumble down them damn stairs but he needs to do so when you don't have that many witnesses around come on now you smarter than that another scene that we get is Aaron and Karen at the hospital and then the doctor says well he's gonna be a great father and we see Aaron laugh kind of like oh yeah I know but then also like yeah no because we don't know who the daddy is and I think this is just gonna be a scene of like the lady assuming because he's the one who's with her he decided to bring her to the doctors I'm just glad we got Karen at the dang old doctors like let us know how far along she is when can we expect this baby and then we can get into the conversation of who the baby daddy is because at this point we we're stressed we're tired we're uh fried died and laid to the side and not in the best way and all we want is information we don't want no more no more issues karen don't show up at nobody else's house just just nourish yourself honey stay hydrated rest and make it through this pregnancy because at this point i don't want to see nothing else honestly i don't want to see nothing else but a happy healthy pregnancy and a delivery of this baby and then we can deal with paternity either towards the end or when a baby get here and that's it that's all aaron i'm gonna need you to be off of karen's neck okay i appreciate that you want to be a daddy i appreciate you want to be with her i appreciate that you really believe that this is her this is your baby and you know science is science and yada 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 but at the end of the day the baby is coming regardless so you don't have to figure this out right here and now sir you can give it some time y'all you can give y'all some space take the damn pressure cook off period now another one of the scenes that are the most interesting is that we see fatima in this red dress getting arrested at the law firm and i'm like okay so it's hate impression charges on how she went all types of bad woman crazy on his car or is to something else it's going to be a lot of jail drama it seems like when it comes to the tailors okay zach and fatima they are in it to win it they are giving buddy and clyde vibes and they are going to jail uh separate occasions but they're going to jail together in the rest of season four and you know what i'm actually here for we've been learning a lot about fatima and it looks like we're going to continue to learn more about her and whatever it is she's going to get out on her own recall because i doubt that she's been arrested before and you know she is a paralegal she knows the law she is also very intentional and very strategic so i doubt that they're gonna be able to hold her for very long so i ain't even pressed or worried about that now another scene is when zach is in his interrogation room andy is there with on one side with the lawyer and fatima's on the other side with zach sitting down there talking about they want to go for a minimum of 15 years well that ain't gonna work because zach just got his life together so whatever this is that you try to charge him with whatever's going on the 15 years we ain't gonna be able to do that um baby we ain't gonna be able to do that can we bring it down to two to three of probation and let him be out because we good we good out here in these streets we is an upstanding citizen we is doing what we gotta do and yeah no 15 years is not going to work for us period that's it that's all we said what we said 
all right y'all so those are all the new scenes together i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts theories and predictions about all of these new scenes that are in the teaser as well as the trailer june 1st will be here before you know it we will have an actual new episode from season four i absolutely cannot wait in the meantime i want to jump down in the comment section and check out y'all's thoughts and respond to them thank you so much for giving this video a watch be sure to give it a like and if you're new here hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications don't forget a link to ericavane.com with all of the synopsis for you to read is in the description box down below as well as all of the videos that i mentioned in this video so get into it keep watching and i'll see you in the next one bye